Greetings awakening citizens to a corrupt state. We. Are. Anonymous. Let us welcome you to Zero Secretary Deep State Docs 18. The government effectively divides us into blue and red teams. Deep State figured out how to manipulate both into letting go of their rights and national sovereignty. The right gets hoodwinked by terrorism and the left gets bamboozled by earth protection. Master manipulator David Rockefeller got this trick down by the 60s and created the Club of Rome. The Club of Romas are considered neo Malthusians, that is, they pull their dominating eugenic decisions from justifications loosely based on a scientist's theories from the 1700s named Malthus. Malthus was interested in curtailing the effects of population growth. Rockefeller's Paul A. pulls from Malthus like Hitler pulled from Darwin to pseudo-scientifically declare Germans the master race. The problem with the Club of Rome model is that it uses data from the global model, and thus it, you cannot distinguish areas of high resources and high prosperity with areas of low resources and no prosperity. This Neo-Malthusian Club of Rome is a power elite group such as the Malthus concurrent Malthusians in the Committee of 300, the secret society founded by the British aristocracy in 1727. 300 men, all of whom know one another, direct the economic destiny of Europe and choose their successes from among themselves. The Club of Rome works in the best interest of the Committee of the 300, the elite group of individuals which dictates global policy around the world. TCO 300 are involved in manipulating and engineering wars on a global scale. David Rockefeller founded Club of Rome, while he was also the chairman of Chase Manhattan Bank, founder of the Trilateral Commission, executive member of the World Economic Forum and the Bilderbergs. Rockefeller started the Club of Rome at his posh Italian estate. COR policies reflect a desire for global depopulation. These are eugenic specialists, a desire to control humans individually. Trying to create the next generation human species, separate from themselves. Another devilish character Morris Strong was a Rockefeller buddy as the World Economic Forum director and helped create the globalism field sporting green shield. Devo's man is a neologism referring to this global elite attending the lavish ski resort economic forum in Devo's for half a million dollar tickets. The scope of the depopulation plan is global, the US Club of Rome started at once upon replacing organic food and monopolizing heirloom seeds. To the United States of America. This committee of 300 told a man called Aurelio Pecky to form this Club of Rome with the main object of bringing down the industries and the agricultural development of the United States. This fuckfest included all the UN bastards and every fucking royal prick with a sprinkling of cult leaders for ideal mind control. These poetic propaganda masters tweet about greenhouse gas while they fuck you up the ass. The preconditioned left asks for seconds. Because there is power in a common motivation, namely a common adversary. Headed by Anglo-American elites and European nobility, the Club of Rome is an elite think tank specializing in crisis creation. In 1976, United States Association of the Club of Rome, USACA, was formed for the purpose of gradually shutting down the US economy. They even do it with cap and trade. A Trojan horse initiated by Morris Strong, the Canada Petrochemical World Bank illusionist behind the greenwashing whitewashing debacle World Business Council for Sustainable Development we will present in an upcoming video. But, uh, Morris Strong, the Canadian, uh, who, who founded the Rio Summit where it all started, he is a great believer in one world government. And I think you should all be very, very afraid of, of the cap-and-trade bill. The, uh, the Porculus package was a rehearsal. The Cairo surrender monkey speech was a rehearsal. The uh, Obamacare was a rehearsal. The really bad thing, the thing that's going to ruin your lives in America, is cap-and-trade. 
terrible carbon tax alternative cap and trade creates a secondary futures market which investment banks enrich themselves with while concurrently economy crashing thanks to Clinton's Glass-Steagall repeal. What that means is there's, there's another side of that transaction and there's a whole secondary market that mirrors the real market in carbon allowances. And if you, if you kind of think about what's happened with the mortgage-backed securities in the last year, that was an example of a, of a primary market which also had a secondary market that was actually in some ways larger in terms of the capital involved and unregulated the derivatives market. That in, in some ways it becomes the tail wagging the dog. The derivatives market drives the, the price of the primary market and so you get extreme fluctuations and speculative bubbles. What the um, House Ways and Means Committee has been considering is skipping the whole trading aspect and just predictably setting a price, which people call a carbon tax, a carbon price. It's a way to gradually increase the cost of emissions, which has the same effect of cap and trade, of, of creating a, an incentive for reductions. Rockefeller replacing Richard N. Haas directs the Council on Foreign Relations and in the Club of Rome has stated sarcasm and irony free. The idea is systematically taking down the global economy in order to impose an international system of either world government or anarchy. And how does Richard Haas plan on wreaking this havoc? Haas says, some governments are prepared to give up sovereign elements addressing global climate change threats. Terrorism was decided for the right. Richard elaborates saying, world government systems must be created and sovereignty eliminated to fight global warming and terrorism. Haas with war criminal Kissinger are now directing Donald Trump. Own up and sort of beef up his foreign policy, his judicial credentials, um, show that he's more than just a, a popular talking head on a big stage and on cable news. The truth is the inherent controlling fear of both these brainwashed asshole parties are in earnest legitimate. Terrorism is scary and we have to change to sustainable systems. But people are adamantly snared and sign away their soul and first born to fear tactics. Club of Rome research arose from looking into the founder of Orwellian named World Business Council for Sustainable Development. This Morris Strong was also a Club Rome founder. Morris Strong learned about corporations running government in power Canada where the he set chairs and corporate directors like James R. Nineinger from a revolving government door like Canada Revenue Agency members. Morris Strong's Power Canada erected coal fire and nuclear catastrophes. Morris Strong got his start in the dirtiest of fracking practices. As chair of CH2M Hill Group Strong oversees the privatization of utilities, which historically leads to shit utilities. CH2M Hill is proud to be part of an exclusive group, invited to be the founding sponsors of Singapore Waterway. The conference signals PUB's strong commitment to developing the water industry in Singapore, building overseas linkages, and sharing its experience and knowledge with the world. Another bullshit committee of Strong's is the War and Peace reporting which created pro-NATO propaganda for incidents in the Balkans, Yugoslavia, Russia, and Afghanistan. Strong is also a patron of not only bullshit groups but bullshit awards. The Order of Canada Lifetime Achievement Award goes to 100 people a year out of the 4,000 members. Lifetime membership guarantees you the award. Order of Canada, I think that is where I would like to have one. How much are they? <laughs> <laughs> what would you pay for this one? <laughs> Everything has a price, right? Three hundred dollars. <laughs> Strong also supplied the world with uranium through Wealth Minerals Limited. An observer described Morris Strong's scarcely concealed delight in explaining his often Machiavellian political maneuverings. His thought pivots around a central, uncomfortable observation that the wicked tend to win. And they do so because they have a huge advantage over the good. They are willing to act with the darkest ingenuity and cunning to further their cause. 
He helped the UN rig the oil for food fiasco in Saddam Hussein's favor making himself richer in the process. Others around him were convicted but Strong had too many connections to be concerned. The fact that he has less to do with an environmentally sound or even moderately peaceful universe has supplied Glenn Beck with tons of context maps. But I don't want to do it at the expense of a collapsed economy, but a collapsed economy would certainly produce that effect. Right. He doesn't. Remember, he doesn't want to do that. No, no, no. He doesn't want to do that. Um, Under Strong's direction, the World Bank gave the majority of its lending to fossil fuels. Directing the World Economic Forum Strong would host all sorts of fuckery from elites like Visa and MasterCard reporting everything to the NSA. The Forum created a group specifically focused on financial inclusion. We were able to work on tangible programs and exchange information that really has advanced the issue forward. Club of Madrid and Club of Budapest have joined meetings and boards, though each club comes from different angles of controlling world opinion. Dull Men's Club. But we're going to focus on the assholes in the Club of Rome to give you a sense of how powerful this organization is. The first thing to understand is as the Atlantic Council steers NATO so the Club of Rome steers the UN. The group works hand in hand with the United Nations and many of their members overlap. The new enlightenment they refer to is a form of brainwashing pushed on students in hopes to create what they call competent citizens. Secondly, the Trilateral Commission and Bilderbergs intersect right into Club of Rome. Naturally, Al Gore, who despite his green halo, was sent into government by the banks to globalization fuckery table of the Trilateral Commission. The same as Clinton, Bush Sr., Carter, and Obama was trained by founders Brzezinski since 21. And before you think Trump escaped, O Malvini and Myers who handled his campaign are the law firm of the Trilateral Commission and Trump is definitely into the Bilderbergs. Booz Allen's Graham Maxton is a Secretary General of the Club of Rome and they have their own NSA outreach for starters. Another Secretary General of the Club of Rome Martin Lees like inefficient governments that are easy to overthrow. So why are we failing to solve these problems? Very briefly again, we tackle these problems through sectoral interventions. We poke at the system through one sectoral intervention. Along with founders are innovators who lead the way in global corporate takeover showing others how like Dr. Francesco Slither from the USA Club of Rome and Brenton Woods Committee. And also we have a kind of a lack of transparency because the member country, the taxpayer, uh, with so many different organizations, for instance the American taxpayer, doesn't know exactly how much of his taxes uh, is uh, earmarked to international organizations because the international organizations are so many, so different, and this creates a lack of transparency. Imeka Anyaku making provision for the companies raping South Africa. He runs the World Wildlife Fund which started as an extension of Nazi Prince Bernhard's Bilderberg group. Remember Hitler was vegan. We'll continue the personal relationship with the president of South Africa so that when incidents like that occur, the two governments will have a dialogue and the government of South Africa will be sensitized even more to the need to tackle the situation. Morris Strong was also part of Nazi Prince Bernhard's World Wildlife Foundation. Prince Bernhard became Nazi in 1934. Then he was recruited by a member of the Nazi intelligence services, but first worked openly in the motorized SS. Support for Nazi-style genocide. He worked for the Fermig Farben labor camp system by building concentration camps to convert coal into synthetic gasoline and rubber. Bernhard's role was to conduct espionage on behalf of the SS. WWF has been accused by the campaigner Corporate Watch of being too close to business to campaign objectively. Cargill and the World Wildlife Fund have agreed to work together to assess the issue of sustainable palm oil production. 
Daisaku Ikeda, the founder of the Soka Gakkai cult. I'm John Chong, and I personally have a gift, and I can see through people. Yeah. And to be honest, each time I see a photo of Mr. Ikeda, I feel rage. And that's a sign he is not a good person. And I think it's said that people are following and worshipping him, worshipping him as the Buddha, like a flock of sheep, without even realizing. And other charlatans like Karan Singh, the former cabinet member of India, chairman of the Temple of Understanding and ambassador to US, who literally talks about getting something for nothing. In fact, I tell my American friends, you know, they're very keen on on copyright. I said, okay, every time you use a zero, give us one cent, we'll be quite happy. And other superficial gurus like Deepak Chopra. Different talk show I saw in recently, watch what happens live with Deepak Chopra. Oh my God. You did this. What did you think of you this guy? what? That guy and I, he's a phony. He's a total phony, He's huh? a phony. And I didn't, I, I complimented him on the diamonds and on his glasses and I asked him who his favorite actor was and he said Omar Sharif. Yeah. And I was just like, I, I couldn't mean, get enough of him. He was going, I've never had a... Hassan Bintel, president of the Club of Rome and president of the Arab Thought Forum. An Ehrlich population biologist. Married to Paul Ehrlich with whom she has authored many books on eugenics. People. Earth can support a much smaller number of human beings who obtain their food by hunting and gathering than of people who live in agricultural societies. In turn, Earth's carrying capacity for simple agrarian societies is smaller than for industrial societies. Irvin Laszlo founding member of the Club of Rome and founder and president of the Club of Budapest. Welcome to the Club of Budapest. We are an association of like-minded people. Sir Chris Pintical, who has moved to the next generation of government overhauling fear tactics, species ending asteroids. His alarmist rhetoric also correlates to the creation of weaponized meteors like Project Thor which can simulate meteor hits anywhere. The effects of an impact of an impact from space. But it could happen. And if it if there's a real risk of it happening, then we must do something about it. Robert Mueller, the former Assistant Secretary General of the United Nations. Talk in the United States about a conspiracy to undermine the Constitution of the United States and to force us to join in to the UN, to a world organization. There's been a lot of talk about the New World Order and things like this. I would like your thoughts on the subject. Well, I wouldn't be too worried about this. What's happening that is that since the beginning, when the World Order was discussed for the League of Nations, uh, when Wilson wanted to have a United States of the world, you had always had a fraction in the United States which was very, very opposed. And if Wilson had not had a stroke, he was campaigning all over the United States to get the League of Nations adopted. It was drafted in his office in the, uh, in the United States. He had a stroke and then the U.S. did not join the League of Nations. And one could really say that by not joining the League of Nations, the U.S. was in large part responsible for Hitler and Mussolini and the Japanese warlords. Bro Harlem Brundtland, United Nations Special Envoy and former President of Norway. Someone powerful enough to get long birthday overtures from Hillary Clinton. Dear Prime Minister and dear friend, on behalf of your many friends and admirers here in the United States, a group to which I am very proud to belong. I wanted to extend my personal greetings to you, your family, and to all those gathered in your honor. Gaby Perez, Tukuela, the former Secretary General of the United Nations. I have the honor to inform you officially that the General Assembly has appointed you as Secretary General of the United Nations for a term of office beginning 1 January 1982 and ending on 31 December 1986. Very closely, may I ask you to repeat a 
have to leave the post of office. I, Javier Perez de Cuellar, solemnly swear. I, Javier Perez de Cuellar, solemnly swear. Garrett Hardin, Professor of Eugenics. Why is the overpopulation problem considered so controversial? We live in a society which uh, values freedom, everybody's individual freedom. And when they looked at the other end, uh, when definitely there's overpopulation, everybody knows it, then the question is, what are we going to do about it? And as they run down the roster of things that might be done, they don't like any of them. And they don't see how we're going to get out of this. And so that's why I say there's sort of an unconscious sensor that represses this uh, from the very beginning. Kofi Annan, the former Secretary General of the United Nations. The stage for a brighter future. Let us seize this moment. Jack Dealers who ran the European Commission and looks like John Voigt playing the bad guy. Jack Dealers like Peter Johnston, Director General of the European Commission, keep a low fucking profile. Also, Club of Rome is Romano Prodi, the former Prime Minister of Italy and President of the European Commission. Jose Luis Rodriguez Zapatero, the Prime Minister of Spain, who has an act for creating economic collapse. The crisis in Spain has been a crisis. Very hard but within the crisis Eurozone and the crisis in the Eurozone. It is within the financial crisis global that initiated in the US. Philip of Belgium has been with Club of Rome since he was a prince. Philippe has become the seventh king of the Belgians, following the abdication of his father King Albert II after 20 years on the throne. Bill Gates who has doubled his income since becoming a fake philanthropist. The Gates Foundation is just a tax shell. But media gets one million a day to prop this good guy image, making Bill Gates one of the only people who could have child born traded on his estate and not get blowback now that journalism is dead. Juan Carlos, I, King of Spain. NATO hosting Doña Sofia, the Queen of Spain. Harlan Cleveland, the former assistant U.S. Secretary of State and NATO Ambassador. Longtime Clinton cohort Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands. <laughs> Timothy Vith, the President of the United Nations Foundation. We need an economy that focuses on the equities of the world, not the great disparities which we currently have between rich and poor. We Conrad Osterwelder, Under Secretary General of the United Nations, who knows exactly how to get delegates to do his bidding. To talk to as many delegates as possible and to explain the problems to them and to listen to what they think and what their needs are. And then a series of dead from the Rockefeller Guard that raised and trained counterparts, like Clinton buddy Helmut Kohl, the former Chancellor of Germany, Richard von Wies, Sacker, former President of Germany. Richard von Weizsäcker was a political president through and through. Eduard Shevardnadze, the former Soviet Foreign Minister and President of Georgia. Edward Shevardnadze has been buried in Tbilisi, the funeral of the 86-year-old who died last Monday. France Joseph Rademacher, the founder of the Global Marshall Plan. Since Russia took on 200 German units to the American and British 10 along with sacking Berlin and Hitler, the Global Marshall Plan was supposed to rebuild their broken infrastructure and probably seed some indefinite harmony as FDR intended. But instead Truman dropped the bomb two weeks after Japan surrendered in order to flex atomic muscles and fuck Russia out of a rebuild. Club of Rome Fritzscher Fink been a coordinator of the Global Marshall Plan made infrastructure rebuild was only at the behest of the corporations. Bush buddy Vincente Fox the former president of Mexico is Club of Rome. Mr. President, you are a Mexican patriot, a great vision for a great people. 
vision of justice and prosperity. Your election signaled a new birth of freedom for Mexico. Ernst Zedelo, director of the Yale Center for the Study of Globalization and Running, Citigroup, Alcoa, Procter and Gamble, also running Mexico as president. Backed by Peter G. Peterson Fund to attack Medicaid and food stamps. Former president of Mexico to give us his views on the current developments. Mr. Cedillo, you've dedicated many years of research to the effects of globalization. What is the overall bottom line in your findings? Globalization has been good. Of course, it has downsides. European Dubbier and war criminal Tony Blair. This man should be arrested for Excuse war me. crimes. Excuse JP me. Morgan paid him off for the Excuse Iraq me. war three months after we invaded Iraq. He held up the Iraq bank for 20 billion. He was then uh, paid six million dollars every year and still is from JP Morgan six months after he left office. The man is a war criminal. Karl Bildt, the former president of Sweden. Det är en landsförrädare. Det är en av de två värsta landsförrädare vi haft i Sveriges moderna historia. Som nu bara promenerar. A turn of the media mogul. Founder of CNN of legendary fake news. Blur. News for views. Why can't you tell the truth? Do you ever fact check and review? I'd rather watch Nick at night than you. CNN, you're gonna lose. What are you gonna do? You're gonna blackmail me too? This is why we all call you fake news. Tapio Cannon, Director of Policy and Planning at United Nations. Diego Hidalgo, Club of Rome Executive Member and Founder and President of the European Council on Foreign Relations in association with George Soros. And... Very sensitive issue. So thank you very much for being here with us. Thank you for the last And George Soros himself, multi-billionaire and major donor to the UN. This disaster capitalist betting against the US with stocks masterminded the BP oil false flag and is balls deep in White House sponsoring with Jared Kushner's company Carter. When I found out that George Soros gave him $250 million for a real estate deal, that's the same as saying Jer Jared, he's funded by George Soros. Rico Mayer, former director general of UNESCO. Wachiro Matsura, the current Director General of UNESCO. Jerome Bine, Foresight UNESCO Director. Former Czech Republic President Václav Havel, not electable in the remade country having delivered on exactly zero campaign promises. Some observers say he should not run for president of the new state when he failed to achieve his ideals as president of the old one. Whatever Rockefeller starts includes war criminal Henry Kissinger, whom despite crimes against Asia gathers with Graham T. Allison who created Harvard Seops with the Rand Corporation for the specific purpose of setting up China for war after Iran and North Korea. It's clearly, unambiguously, the impact of the rise of China on the U.S. and the international order that the U.S. constructed in the aftermath of World War II and has maintained, and that actually accounts for the fact that these are seven decades without great power war, which historically is an anomaly. So uh, if we ask the second question, which is of, of the approximately seven and a half billion people with whom we share the globe today, if you could have just one person to talk to about this issue and to listen to, uh, I think the unambiguous answer is uh, Henry Kissinger. So I, I regard this as a, as a treat. Uh, now, uh, Henry's not just an American national resource. Such a war would aid the Club of Rome's ultimate objective, reducing the world's population by about 2 billion people. We'll start to get into their crypto eugenics that has involved the creation of AIDS in a later video. Club Rome is not about sustainable future but rather control. 
We are neither Jesus. Nor. Have we Alzheimer's. Expect us.